Welcome to your legislative update. Uh, this update is for the special session of the General Assembly. It's actually the fourth special session the General Assembly's had this year. This particular one was called by the governor for Hurricane Matthew and wildfire disaster relief. But they were done with that on Tuesday. I'm sorry, on Wednesday. They came in on Tuesday and were done with the disaster relief Wednesday. Since then, there's been a lot of other things going on. 22 bills filed in the House, to be in exact. The fourth special session. The legislature adjourned the, the third special session that dealt with disaster relief and then took it upon themselves to open up another session um, to deal with matters that they deemed important. And we felt like that was a good opportunity for us to try to get some things for state employees and retirees that had been neglected in the last session and frankly neglected for years. And at the end of the day, the only other time sensitive thing besides hurricane relief was to honor the people who took care of hurricane victims. Who did it? Yeah. Which were our state employees and our retirees who gave their time, which is where House Bill 15 and House Bill 16 comes in. So we like to thank Representative Jonathan Jordan for filing those bills um, to acknowledge our folks. Um, yeah, they, they were great bills. You know, one just to, to show appreciation for state employees and, and also for teachers. And the other would have given a bonus of $1,000 to, to each person, but that one didn't go anywhere. In fact, you know, there's been a lot of, most of the, the issues dealt with this week have been a lot of political infighting, really, um, and just who controls what in Raleigh. So to boil all that down to what affects you the most, there was an issue that came up that we need to thank Representative Dollar, Representative John Bell, uh, Representative David Lewis, and, and we need to thank the Senate as well, because they've agreed to, uh, to not put in a provision that would have implemented the date of a compensation plan OSHR wanted to, to implement, uh, they wanted to change the date to December 31st, so not give the new administration a chance to even look at it. Why this matters is that nobody's, nobody's seen it. Literally thing. nobody has seen it. We have had lawmakers request this pay plan and nobody has been able to get a copy of it, so we don't truly know what's in this pay plan. Or do legislators. Right. And, and last we don't year, know if it's a good or a bad plan because nobody's seen it. So it doesn't hurt to wait till February 1st, which was the original implementation date, and we feel like that's better. Let folks who come into OSHR under Cooper, uh, Governor elect Cooper, have a look at that and, and make sure that this is, in fact, good for state employees because we've had some. We've had some tough times with uh, Office of State Human Resources in the last few years, including them saying that they, they owned state employees. So that kind of attitude, we were just talking about that kind of attitude. Yes, in, in the Office of State Human Resources, we need an advocate for employees, not an adversary. That's right. I agree with that. That's right. So that was a really important thing. We want to, uh, to express our appreciation to folks for making sure that didn't get popped into a bill where it had no place. Uh, well, and that, that being said, though, within the same bill, it's a bill that, that has just lots of things the in it. The kitchen sink bill. It is, and, and there's the, there's provisions in there to take away some of the powers of the, the new governor to be able to appoint his own people into the positions that will leave the Office of State Human Resources. Um, so that's something else that we've Representative Lewis done. clarified on the floor yesterday, and I thought this was a big, <laughs> big deal to happen. You know, he clarified that the bill was not meant to change the power of the governor to appoint the Office of State Human Resources or Office of State Budget and Management Director. So that was key to us to know. We did get clarification. For our members. And he stated that they would be exempt, which means that we can hold them accountable in very real ways where the bill would suggest otherwise. So that's the other huge piece of um, legislation that came through was changing the number of exempt employees. Y'all, somebody give me the history Well, here. that changed in 2013. 13. Governor McCroy decided he needed more, was it 300, I think, was the current number. Three or 400 people was the current number that were um, exempt positions, and he needed 12 to 1,500. Um, so the legislature allowed, him, allowed those changes. Um, so now the legislature is trying to cut the number of exempt employees back down to 300. Right, so for some reason the governor, under Governor McCroy, he believed he needed just tons of people who were exempt, and now he believes the next governor should have very few. So that's been a political fight, as you can imagine. Um, the other, there's a lot of other things done in this legislation that really don't affect state employees. 
directly that we know of yet. But I would say there's enough change um, in some of the structures of government that as this shakes out and as we get to know the legislation better, we'll probably have more to tell you. And we're here as long as they're here. We want to thank you guys too for, for emailing and making phone calls. We've heard from legislators that they've gotten two or 3,000 phone calls and emails this week um, about a number of issues, including our issues. So thank you for doing your part on your end. We appreciate it. And for coming down here. Yes. Members have been in and out all week with us. We appreciate your help, and it's really important for lawmakers to see state employees and their constituents. It does take a joint effort of all of us working together, trying to get the best deals we can for state employees and retirees. Team Zenith. Thank you. And Merry Christmas, y'all. Happy holidays.